everyone, this is Sir Z from Let's Get Science with Sir Z, an episode here in our YouTube channel, Teach, Train, Transform. And for this one, it's going to be for the grade 6 science learners. We are still in the first quarter. Our topic for today in this video is quarter 1, module 2, lesson number 3, based on our self-learning module from the Deped Commons, downloadable and available for you to download and use. And the title of our lesson is Separating Mixtures Through Decantation. So before we proceed, let's take a quick look on some of the many methods to separate mixtures. Examples sang ito class, there are so many, but yung mga bagay na pwede natin gawin on our end sa ating school lab, sa ating elementary school, ay ang mga ito. Number one ay yung picking or mechanical. Mechanical kasi yung may bagay na gumagalaw para mag-segregate or maghiwalay ng mixture. And sa atin, it is our hands. But of course, kung medyo delikado yung mixture, hindi nyo pwedeng hawakan. Gumamit tayo ng ibang mechanical means. Evaporation is the next one. It is the use of heat para tanggalin yung liquid part at yung may iwan na residue, yun yung gagamitin natin. Evaporation ang tawag doon. The next one is decantation. Basically, ito ay ang pagbuhos ng upper layer ng isang mixture. Tulad ng liquid to liquid immiscible mixtures or yung ayaw maghalo na liquid kung saan may aangat at may bababa tapos ibubuhos mo ang isa sa kanila. Depende sa kung sino ang aagos palabas. But sa ating school labs, ginagawa natin to sa experiment kung saan solid and liquid ang ating mixture para madaling gawin for our activity. Ibinubuhos natin yung liquid part at naiiwan sa original container yung solid part. The next three are filtering, sifting, and sieving. Magkakasama sila kasi pare-parehas lang ang idea na yan. Yung pagsasala, magkakaiba lang yung uri ng mixture na sinasala at yung uri ng pangsala. Sa filtering kasi class, it's more on liquid and solid impurities. Tulad ng ginagawa natin sa bibig ng ating gripo para mabawasan ang dumi, lumalabas sa tubig na gagamitin natin. Sifting naman is yung katulad na nasa picture. But take note, ito ay para sa pinong mga bagay. So ibig sabihin, katulad ng pino na na power powder, ipinuhin mo pa. So, ipaghihiwalay mo yung mga bulky o your chunky para lumabas yung mas pinong part. Yung sieving naman is similar to sifting pero pang malalaking bagay naman siya. Example nito ay yung buhangin at yung batong mixture. Sinisieve natin para matanggal yung mga bato or mahiwalay yung mga pinong buhangin na gagamitin sa construction. Distillation naman involves two processes, evaporation yung una and condensation. Sa evaporation is, yung mas mataas ang sa evaporation is, kung sino yung mauna magiging steam, siya ay hihiwalay at tataas bilang gas form. Pero palalamigin siya sa condensation portion ng procedure para bumalik sa liquid form at lilipat sa ibang lalagyan. Sa sedimentation naman, it is similar almost to decantation. Ang pagkakaiba lang sa decantation ay ibubuhos mo, pero sa sedimentation, it is more about apakalmahin mo yung mabibigat or more dense part ng mixture. Katulad na nasa picture, for example, sa loob ng beaker, meron tayong tubig at saka sand na magkahalo nung una, pero after mong iniwanan, pinakalma, bumaba yung mga sand at humiwalay sa water para pwede mong tanggalin yung water. So again, ang sedimentation ay pagpapakalma ng mga denser portion ng mixture para ito bumaba at tumiwalay sa liquid part. Pag binuhos mo na ito, ito ay magiging decantation na. Next one is crystallization. This one is similar to sedimentation. Kanina na pinapakalma mo yung solid residue. Pero in this case sa crystallization, it is more about meron kang gamit kung saan kakapit ito at magkikristallize. So imbis na bababa siya dun sa lalagyan, siya ay mamumuo-muo na magkakasama. So we knowing it is basically the use of air, either natural air or blowing air para tangayin yung mga magagaan na parts at may iwan yung mabibigat na parts. Example nito ay yung nasa picture na nakikita natin sa bukid kung saan tinatangay ng hangin yung ipa or yung balat ng bigas and then naiiwan yung bigas na mas mabigat para yon ang ipunin. Pero meron ng bagong technique dyan of course, alam nyo na yon yung paggamit ng machinery na tinatawag na thresher. So threshing is similar to we knowing hangin din ang ginagamit tinatangay ang magagaan para ihiwalay sa mabibigat. The next one is using a magnet. Ito naman ay for separating mixtures made up of metals and non-metallic objects. So para hindi mahirap, ginagamitan ng magnet para yung mga metallic object ay sasama dito at may hihiwalay dun sa non-metallic objects. Kung tatanungin nyo kung ano yun nasa picture, yan ay mga iron filings, yung mga kulay black na sumama sa magnet na nanggaling sa buhangin. Mas basically class, yung ginagamit na material para makagawa ng bakal ay nanggagaling either sa buhangin or sa mga bato na minimina. 
And the last one na pwede natin gawin sa school, depende kung tayo ay may ganitong gamit. Ito ay tinatawag na technique using a separating funnel. It is somewhat similar to decantation, kung saan naghihiwalay yung dalawang immiscible liquids, yung isa tataas, yung isa bababa. Ang pagkakaiba lang, ito ay direktang kinukuha yung nasa ilalim na portion. Kaya nga, ito ay tinatawag na separating funnel, yung gamit na nakikita nyo sa picture. Yung nasa ilalim na liquid ang kukunin at may iwan yung nasa ibabaw. So these are only some of the many methods to separate mixtures. But for this episode, we will be focusing on decantation or yung technique ng pagbubuhos. So observe how the mixtures in the illustrations are being separated. Ito ay galing din sa inyong module at tatanungin din sa inyo ito para sagutan. So kung makikita nyo sa unang picture, yun ay pagbuhos, yung parang darker color ay naiiwan. Yun naman sa kabilang picture sa kanan after the first picture, yun ay isang activity kung saan yung kamay na yun ay hinahalo niya yung mixture para maging totally mixed. But later on, of course, sedimentation, ipapakalma mo kapag naging kalmado na yung more dense part ng mixture, ito ay ba? Baba, at pwede mo nang gawin yung decantation or yung pagbubuhos. So what is decantation? Ano ang technical definition ng decantation? Sabi dito, it separates less dense substance from a denser substance by pulling out. Ano ba yung less dense at saka denser? When you say dense, it is the density. The question is about the density. And when you talk about density, it is about kung gaano karami ang material na nasa loob ng bagay na yun. Technically, we are talking about the number of molecules. So sino yung pinakamaraming molecules sa loob ay mas siksik at mas mabigat. Yung mas ka onting molecules, either hindi siya matibay or magaan siya. So, sineseparate ng decantation yung magagaan or hindi siksik na substance mula sa substance na mas siksik or denser. And then, ibubuhos mo yung isa sa kanila palabas para maghiwalay sila. It is for separating mixtures of immiscible liquids. Pag sinabing immiscible, mga liquids na ayaw maghalo tulad ng oil at saka water. Pag miscible, maghahalo yan. But in this case, immiscible liquids ang ating pinag-uusapan. Pwede rin siya sa liquid and solid mixture tulad nga nung nakita niyong picture kanina na binubuhos yung liquid part at naiiwanan yung solid part. To separate mixtures by decantation, the mixture is first left undisturbed for the substances to separate naturally by settling down. So, ibig sabihin nito, class, kung originally magandang mixture siya, as in magkakahalo, pero later on, maghihiwalay din, so pakalmahin mo muna para susunod ay pwede mo nang gawin yung decantation or yung pagbubuhos. Examples of mixtures that can be separated by decantations are oil and water dahil immiscible liquid sila. Gasoline and water, hindi magahalo ang gasolina at tubig. Isa sa kanila ay pupunta sa ibabaw, yung isa ay pupunta sa ilalim at pwede mong ibuhos ang isa sa kanila palabas papunta sa ibang lalagyan. And mud and water, dahil kahit maputik yan sa simula, basta may tubig yan, bababa at bababa yung more dense material which is yung soil or yung mud at may iwan sa taas yung water. So yung water later on ay pwede mong idecant or ibuhos. So that is all about decantation class. Basically, again, ito ay paraan ng pagbubuhos ng nasa ibabaw or nasa ilalim depende sa kung sino ang lalabas dahil may mga time na yung nasa taas ay super gaan kaya napupunta sila sa likod kapag binubuhos mo tapos yung nasa ilalim ang unang lumalabas. But the bottom line is pag decantation, ito ay paraan ng pagbubuhos ng isang part mula sa isang mixture. So take note class. Even though ang oil and water or gasoline and water ay immiscible liquids na pwede mong gawin ng decantation para paghiwalayin sila, it doesn't mean na pwede mo itong gawin sa tinatawag na oil spills. Nabasa ko po kasi yan and I would like to clarify na yung oil spill ay isang event, tragedy or catastrophe na nangyayari sa ating water bodies. Katulad ng may natapong oil or gasoline, hindi lang sa dagat kundi sa ilog or ano pang water bodies meron dyan. Ang decantation basically ay pagbuhos. So, hindi mo magagawa ang decantation dito sa ating malalaking water bodies. Ibang paraan ang ginagamit para sa paglilinis ng oil spill. Meron yung tinatawag na filtering or absorption technique kung saan meron nilalagay dyan na mag absorb ng oil or liquid. Pagkatapos nun ay tatanggalin yung material na nag-absorb. But the bottom line, decantation is done by pouring out one part of the mixture which is impossible to do kung oil spill ang ating pag-uusapan.
So now that we learn about decantation, and it is basically a technique of pouring out one part of the mixture, either solid and liquid mixture or a mixture of immiscible liquids, let's practice what we learn. In this activity class, we will answer these questions or these items with true or false. Answer true if the statement is correct or false if it is incorrect. We got number one, decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. Number two, in the process of decantation, the mixture is less disturbed. Number three, we use decantation method in separating the fruit salad mixtures. Number four, oil in water could be removed using the decantation technique. And number five, decantation is used in removing oil or gasoline from an oil spill. So we're going to have a timer for you teachers since available ang PowerPoint na ito na aking ginawa sa description box down below for your download at magamit mo sa iyong sariling classroom. It is set for 60 seconds. But for this video recording, I'm only going to run it for 15 seconds so that we will be able to go ahead and give the answers for this tutorial. We're now down to 10 seconds. 5 seconds and there you go like I said that timer is set for 60 seconds but for this tutorial ginawa ko lang siya munang 15 seconds so what is the answer? The answers are this one, true para sa una because it is about separating less dense substance or yung mas magaan at hindi siksik from a denser one or yung mas mabigat or mas siksik. Number two, true din siya because the process of decantation kailangan mong less disturb ang mixture. Pag disturb kasi siya, syempre hindi pa siya naghihiwalay. So pakalmahin mo muna. For number three, we got it false because the statement says we use decantation method in separating the fruit salad mixtures. If we are talking about a fruit salad na nasa bowl na, of course, hindi pwede ang decantation or pagbubuhos. But, if we're talking about fruit salad na nasa lata pa lang, kung saan meron pa siyang sabaw or liquid part, pwede naman yung decantation. So, dapat malinaw yung question. Number four, oil in water could be removed using the decantation technique. That is true because we can do that in our school using two different containers. And one of them containing a mixture of immiscible liquid which are oil in water. But number five, we got that false because sabi dito decantation is used in removing oil or gasoline from an oil spill. Remember yung sinabi ko kanina? An oil spill is an event or tragedy that happened or happens sa ating mga water bodies. And since decantation is all about pouring out one part of the mixture, hindi mo yun magagawa sa actual area. Dahil of course, paano mo yun gagawin sa dagat or sa ilog. So next activity that we have is a yes or no activity. So, sasagutin mo lang siya ng yes if the mixture can be separated by decantation. Pero kung hindi, the answer will be no. We got gasoline in water, aros caldo soup, spaghetti, sinigang with floating fats, ice cream, fruit salad, oil in water, lugaw, bachoy, and for the number 10, tino lang manok. We still got the same timer set for 60 seconds. But for this video tutorial, I'm just going to run it for 15 seconds to save time. Timer starts. Let the answering begin. And there you go, that is 15 seconds. But teachers, I made this PowerPoint presentation available in the description box down below for you to be able to download and use it with my authorization. So let's go ahead and answer this activity, yes or no. The answers are this one. Yes for gasoline and water, we can do that, we can decant that. No for arroz caldo soup because I do believe arroz caldo is a mixture of malagkit na kanin. So mahirap siyang ibuhos at dahil so mahirap siyang ibuhos dahil sasama rin yung mga solid material. No for spaghetti because we don't have anything na ibubuhos unless ang tinutukoy dito ay yung pinakuluang spaghetti. Siyempre, nandun pa siya sa liquid. Pwede yun. Pero kung ang spaghetti ang sinasabi dito ay yung nakaplato na, of course, hindi pwede yung decantation kasi wala ka namang ibubuhos na part. Sinigang with floating fats, that's a yes because pwede mong ibuhos ang sabaw ng sinigang na maiiwan yung taba-taba. But I do believe kailangan mo rin ang filtering dito. Number 5, ice cream, no because wala ka namang ibubuhos na part. Same with fruit, salad, and 
unless yung sinabi ko nga kanina ay nasa lata pa lang kung saan meron pa siyang liquid, pwedeng gawin yung decantation doon. But if we're talking about fruit salad na nasa bowl na, of course, hindi na pwede. Number 7, oil and water is a yes. Number 8, lugaw is a no because it's the same with arroz caldo. Pag binuhos mo yung lugaw, sasama lahat yung mga solid parts which is yung malagkit na kanin. Number 9 and number 10, batchoy and tinolang manok, I answered those with yes because batchoy and tinolang manok are dishes with sabaw. Pwede mo namang i-pour out yung sabaw at may iiwanan sa bowl yung mga solid parts nito. And there you go guys, that is all about the topic, decantation. And just a reminder na isa rin sa ginagawa ko sa aking sarili. We don't need to be perfect, we just need to give our best always because that will excel us above everyone else. Nobody is perfect but someone, you, can become the best above the rest. Master, don't memorize, meaning wag kang mag-memorize because later on makakalimutan mo rin ang memorize mo. But if you master it, you will be able to carry it in your lifetime at may share mo to anytime. So just a review, we talk about decantation and the main idea about decantation is pagbubuhos or pouring out. It can be a technique that you can use for separating solid and liquid mixtures. Kung saan yung liquid ay pwedeng ibuhos matapos kumalma ng denser material which is the solid. And it can be also used for separating immiscible liquids or mga liquid na hindi nagahalo. Isa na sa ibabaw, isa na sa baba at isa sa kanila ay pwede mong ipour out or ibuhos palabas. This one guys is actually for your teacher na ipipresent ito sa inyo during your actual session because this is more of an assignment that you cannot do online ng mabilisan but you can do it on your own and then submit it. Activity number 3 pero sa module it is called what I have learned and you will give your answer or your own ideas dun sa mga blank spaces to complete the paragraph. And most importantly learners ay yung assessment because sa mga teachers natin ako including ay mababait naman yan to if you are not able to answer or get good scores sa inyong mga practice activities, yung assessment naman talaga ang pinaka-importante because that is your quiz for the entire week. Doon kukuha si teacher. Kaya do your best. You don't need to be perfect but always do your best pagdating sa assessment ng inyong module. And that wraps it up. I congratulate you guys, Grade 6 Science Team, for doing a good job and for sticking down to the last second or the last activity in this discussion. If you were able to understand the lessons in this tutorial, ay madali mo nang magagamit ang inyong natutunan dyan sa module mo and also more importantly sa totoong buhay. So once again guys, this is Sir Z. It has been an awesome moment or it has been an awesome adventure with you na na-experience ko ngayon learning decantation, learning science for Grade 6 six in this episode and I would like to request that you leave a like for this episode and share it para mayroon pa tayong matulungang iba na nahihirapan sa topic na ito and then consider subscribing para kasama ko kayo ulit sa susunod natin mga discussion ng mga topics ng grade 6 science mula sa DepEd Common Self Learning Module. Once again, this is Sir Z. Continue learning and for the meantime, stay safe everyone. Class dismissed.